Hello and welcome back to the Hourglass. So I'm going to do a very general love reading. It's for all signs, but I will be calling out signs when I'm prompted to. So I want to see what could we expect for the beginning of 2020. Happy 2020 to everyone. I wish you all the best. I wish you guys uh, abundance and wealth and success for this year. Peace to you and those you love, all right? The theme for the Hourglass this year is unbullshitified life, all right? So what does that mean? Unbullshitified life. We're praying as a collective to have the courage to see the chains that hold us back <clears throat> and the hope to find the courage to break them. It's all about moving forward. Uh, 2020 is all about the master's the master builders. Now, this was my theme um, from last year, actually. So I kind of feel to say that I'm one year ahead of the game or ahead of the collective, you guys. And that's because I do a lot of work on myself. I um, am very committed and devoted into breaking chains in my family. So I, have re I read a lot of books about healing ancestral karma. So I'm a little ahead in the collective right now. And I'm grateful for where I'm at, where my family is at. So I guess one of, part of my mission is to um, voice what I have been learning, all right? I wouldn't say teach. I'm just voicing my opinions in what I'm learning. And whoever resonates, resonates. If you don't, it's fine. It's okay. It's fine. You could just listen for entertainment purposes. How about that? All right. So a lot of you, besides love, a lot of you are having a new opportunity. Excuse me new opportunity or new chapter when it comes to financial stability and you're being urged to go ahead and take it to move past any insecurities whether it's relocating or having to end um, a commitment to an, a job that was just not getting you anyway but paycheck to paycheck so it's all about financial stability not job security all right it's financial stability is the theme all right all right so children may be involved hey so again some of you are um, not getting anywhere in your love relationships. And I have um, a guided message to, to channel here. So uh, last night, the phrase children facing issues came to my mind. And now we have the children card. Now, you guys, this was very important to me because as I got the channeling, I begin to see movies back to back about children struggling with their own inner demons. Now, we tend to look at children and feel like, oh, well, you know, they're small. They don't have any bills to pay. They're well taken care of. What problems are they facing? What issues can they be possibly facing? And that alone, that kind of thinking actually let our children slide into a more deeper, some of them even depressed or anxiety prone phase in their life you guys so it's very important for those that are viewing that have children or you have friends that have children and you kind of suspected that they're getting off the rails because of love because of money they're kind of putting their children on the back burner it's time to address that or bring some type of awareness like i'm doing today <clears throat> so i'm bringing some type of awareness that some of your children could be facing trust issues they could be facing neglect they may be even facing feeling neglected by you, even though you're buying these expensive uh, electronics, these toys for Christmas, clothes, shoes, whatever the case may be, there's still an element of neglect here. So you're not listening or you're not paying attention to your children's cues. And this may be even beneficial for your own core issues or your own childhood traumas, because maybe you're deflecting what you saw or what you went through as a child onto your children. And again, that could put them into anxiety or even depression phase all right some of them are dealing with anxiety they're wanting companionship with a parent and they're looking outside the home for that companionship that's something that you need to look into they may feel like a, like they're living in a very loveless environment or some type of poverty maybe they're not eating as well as they would like so again some of them may even be getting pulled down in social media pressures as well. Some of you have divorced their parent or they're living in a single home. That as well could be causing an issue with your children. So again, it's imperative that you check your children. They are a major part of your life. All right. And a lot of time we go, we, we don't really know our children until something arises and we're pushed to face some type of truth about them. All right. So 
just bringing some type of awareness there for those that resonate with it so I'm, i don't know if i'm going to title this video um bringing awareness to chill uh your children's your children issue or children that's facing issues at this time, silent issues that you're not aware of. All right. So what else is going on uh, in this love reading? Present energy. I always do present readings. <clears throat> Bring an intention or possibility to create your future as well. All right. Tell me more. Tell me more about love in general. All right, so some of you have called in your soulmate or someone is calling in their soulmate. Somebody may want to take a trip with you and disconnect from the world. Uh, this person, I feel, may live at a distance from you, whether it's 20, 30 minutes away or a whole continent, a states away, a whole ocean away. Um, some of you have been doing a lot of inner working as well, shadow work, and it's drawing into your, you're, you're drawing your soulmate towards you through your prayers, your affirmations, and your visualizations. Some of you <clears throat> are in some type of separation period because of your person's core issues. Now, that's kind of tricky because we don't want to fall in um, a stage of silent treatment where this person is actually giving us silent treatment because of their um self-centered ways so always use your discernment people but somebody retreated hey <clears throat> it's a strong possibility that you have met your your soulmate as a child and they're back in your life and because the connection is so intense the loyalty is so intense what do i mean when i say that we have to keep an open mind at the bottom all right so what did i mean when i say intense loyalty so this person may be very dedicated or devoted or loyal to you and they don't even know why. So they may be coming to the terms or awareness that you are their soulmate. You're some type of soulmate in their life. And they may have been praying for you for a very long time. And now that you're here, they may have retreated um, because of the intense emotions. All right. Some of you, you're very different from this person or you're, you're not their usual type. And this is why they retreated because they're really trying to shift out their true emotions hey what about you is what why are they falling for someone so different they never expected their soulmate to be someone that's totally different you alone or this connection alone could be triggering a lot of core issues or childhood trauma in this person as well and this is why they're kind of like spooked or um hesitating as well so let's get some tarot you guys <clears throat> Oh, if you guys notice, we have hit our first, our first thousand subscribers. So thank you and welcome to all those new subscribers that made it possible. I welcome you guys. A uh, very deep, warm appreciation for those that have stuck by me or are still riding with me from the very start. Oh my gosh. And big up to all the silent followers that reach out to me and pull um, out their um, very uh inspiring stories as well i deal i daily appreciate it and i am working on replying to every single one of you all right so patience patience love patience all right let's see what's going on so we have the high priestess someone here needs to trust their intuition i feel there are some secrets that's going on here due to to about your children so there may be some it, it may not be as dark or dramatic but there's some secrets that's going on about your children that may have a direct link to your love life all right again some of you um are dealing with someone that didn't trust their intuition as much as they should as a child or they wasn't thought taught to uh anything about intuition so therefore they don't even know what we're talking about if we have to talk to them about it and this is why they have to keep an open mind because, again, you're very different. You may be a person that's very spiritual or you're very intuitive <clears throat> as well. You're very connected to your emotions. Some of you, they're having some type of decision to make eh, between your children's health and your love life. And this is why you may have retreated. Or somebody uh, have children that they have to take care of. And this is why they retreated. They may have a secret. This may be a secret. They may have children. This may be a secret situation with children involved. A secret pregnancy. A hidden love child. But some of this, it's a lot of silence here. A lot of passive aggression as well with the high priestess energy. So about a, it's like duality. So you guys are really different from each other. 
the yin and yang is what I picked up for some reason here. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, so there's some hidden knowledge about children, secrecy about children and their inner world. You guys need to pay attention to your children. Five of Pentacles, somebody feels neglected. Didn't I mention that before? Before? I'm stammering today. Somebody feels neglected, you guys. Somebody's not getting enough to eat. There may be some mental issues with mild depression or deep sadness that's going on here with your children. You guys, this is very important. I channeled this last night. Somebody's feeling neglected and they're obsessed with getting their parents' attention. There may be a lot of people pleasing that's going on here. So some of you may be so fixated on finding a soulmate that you're neglecting either the child within yourself or your own children. Please pay attention to your intuition. Some of you are getting intuitive nudges about this situation and you're overlooking it. You know, the five of pentacles could talk about knowing the value of something after you lose it. So you guys take heed. All right. This message is, I hope this message, this message goes and meet whoever needs to meet. <clears throat> Somebody's not getting enough to eat, whether it's food, food or food for the soul. We have the hangman. So, uh, some surrendering needs to be done here. Somebody needs assistance. Somebody needs help. And it needs some kind of sacrifices needed to be held here. The hangman could talk about, okay, so with a high priest, high priestess is Cancer Taurus. The hangman could talk about Sagittarius Pisces and the Five of Pentacles could talk about Virgos, Taurus, Capricorn. Some of you are dealing with your soulmate that has things in limbo because they, un, they, they cannot afford or they're unwilling to make sacrifices right now. So somebody's going to be left in a cold or field abandoned because of money issues as well. So your soulmate that you have called in retreated because of money issues when it comes to children, stability. A lot of children are dependent on your soulmate as well. They may be even staying in a very fucked up, a very messed up situation because of children not listening to their intuition and doing what's right here, not willing to make sacrifices as well. Tell me more about calling in your soulmate, please. Tell me more about calling in your soulmate. Okay, so we have the King of Swords. Very logical person, your soulmate, or you may be. This person endured a lot of pain, possibly as a child. We have the devil coming out with the king of swords. So this may be a codependent situation your soulmate is trapped in. I feel like they're hurting in this situation as well. <clears throat> Some of you may be hurting in your situation and you're kind of wrapped up in low vibrational energies. You can't seem to see the light out of. Some of you has completely poured spirituality out of your life or you're dealing with a soulmate that um, accepted a lot of bad situations. You know, with the hangman being here, I feel like they had multiple opportunities to step up and follow their intuition and they decided not to. And now they're hurting in a bad situation that, that, that they have accepted. You may be dealing with a Capricorn we have Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So again, they decided to sacrifice their happiness to stay in a very messed up situation because of children. And they're undergoing a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. This person might have an ankh tattoo or they wear an ankh. There's some type of Egyptian connection going on here as well. I feel this person has codependent issues because of children. They may be avoiding um, child support. They may be avoiding neglecting their children. So they're sacrificing their, their happiness for their children. But what I'm seeing here with the devil present and the five of pentacles, it's like the environment is not healthy as well for these children. 
but it's they feeling with that hangman energy like it's nothing could be done at this moment they may feel very stupid with this witch's hat you know sometimes i look at witch's hat as dunce hat like a dunce hat like a fool hat that kind of way some of them may be dealing with a child that's acting up at school as well because of abandonment issues or feeling neglect so they're acting out in school or that may be a future um event that's happening we have the eight of uh eight of wands so the eight of wands is like um fast movement or fast communication coming through here hmm what is that I don't know. Something is crazy. It's like this person may have came obsessed with you very quickly or this relationship, this connection moved very fast due to obsession or um, sexual um, sexual curiosity. So you may have swept this person off their feet or they swept you off your feet pretty quickly. I feel like this person was very sed seductive. Maybe you took some pain away from this person as well. You liberated this person. It happened very quickly or they feel like it happened very quickly. They want to travel to you. They want to talk to you. We have the Prince of Swords, but they're wounded. I feel like they're a ticking time bomb. They feel like time is running out. Time is end time is running out and things may end between the both of you. They need some type of redemption or they want to be uh, redeemed by you. They want some type of forgiveness, some type of healing. They want this to happen fast. So they may be calling you back. So if they retreated from you and you possibly did nothing about it, you probably kept an open mind. You may know this person has children or core issues and you know, this may be a routine that of them retreating and coming back in or feeling that pull. And you have decided to um, let them stew in their emotions. And now it's like they want things to <clears throat> rapidly happen with you because they're feeling wounded. This person ego may be wounded or they may feel like they've been hurting too much in this situation because of children. Hmm. So we're the Knight of Wands because it's a Prince of Swords, right? It's almost like they want to seize, they want to come in really quick with the Eight of Wands and the Prince of Swords. It's like they want to seize the opportunity. They want to seize the moment with you and retreat with you. They want to just swoop you up and go travel with you. But children may be a blockage here. They may have to... They don't want to abandon their children. And this is why things are in limbo. I feel like they're, one of, they're trying to tell you this through the 5D, 4D, 5D. They're trying to send you messages in your dream or intuitive messages that they want to just come in really fast, swoop you up and dip out into some type of trip. But they feel guilty or they feel like they have to sacrifice that, that dream, that happiness Oh, this person wants a child with you. You know, I'm seeing a lot of the ank, the onks twice, the onks showing up. So the onks talk about the male and female um, coming together for this life, right? So it's almost like they want to make a, ch a child with you or they want to have children with you, but their living situation is not ideal. They're in a bad situation right now where they're codependent on a lot of addictions, a lot of dark things. They have a lot of demons about themselves. This person could be a cutter or they make a lot of impulsive moves very, very fast and they hurt themselves. And this is why they retreated. They may have moved too fast with you and it backfired. <clears throat> we have the 10 of cups and the world. So, okay. So with the world card happening here, it's almost like, okay, so with the world card popping out here, you guys, it's almost like they already fulfilled, something is fulfilled Hey, what's that? So, okay, so you're very fulfilling to this person. You bring them a lot of joy with the 10 of cups, so you may be dealing with a fixed sign, Aquarius, Leo, 
Scorpio and Taurus with a lot of air elements. So they may be very flighty or they may be very passionate. They may be get aggressive, aggressive person a lot. But you bring this person emotional fulfillment. You bring them, you make them feel, if they're a man, you make them feel very masculine. If this is a female, you make them want to go on this new adventure with you. You make them want to drop everything and just dip out with you, retreat with you. They see, a, they see like building a family with you. They're very focused on you when you guys are together. They want to write a new chapter with you, a new story with you. This is what they want from you. This, this may be what you want from them. But right now they're keeping an open mind because they have to sacrifice their happiness right now. And it's killing them. It's causing some type of aggression. There may be a lot of disappointments that a new beginning is not welcome or it's not happening right now because somebody had to retreat. I feel like there's an emptiness with this Prince of Swords. It feels very incomplete without you or you feel like this without them. I feel like this person may want to argue as well. They may feel out of control or they feel left behind with the Five of Pentacles. They may even feel like a coward because they had to sacrifice their happiness for children or co codependent issues for core issues. And it's like they want to rush in. They really do want to rush in because maybe they came to... Um, clarity that you are their soulmate with the king of swords and it's like i want to rush in i'm up it's like obsessively thinking about rushing in scoop you up retreat from the world but i can't because i have to sacrifice i have accepted a very difficult situation or bad situation because of core issues dependency even children and now it's like I may be running out of time. Things may be completing between the both of you, but you are my fulfillment. You're my happiness. <clears throat> they feel a lot of sadness here without you if you guys retreated from each other, you know. Wow. And it's like now that they're home with their children, they're now witnessing how bad the situation is without you so you may have been an, an escape from this person's reality you may have brightened this person's life or you added color and now that some type of separation or pause they're now having clarity with the um knight of swords and the king of swords like they need to take action they have clear decision or clear thought eh? That you are their happiness. You brought a completion to them. You open up their eyes to a lot of things that was um, dark in their life with the devil energy. Very sinister. I just heard I'm sleeping with the devil or I'm sleeping with the enemy. This is something that they accepted because of children. So they maybe have, they maybe gotten trapped in a situation because of children. Somebody trapped them in a situation, but they're accepting it. And they may, the eight of ones may be delaying and a lot of disappointment things are not, it's like unfinished business between the both of you. You guys take it how it resonates. It's like two different stories I'm picking up here. And we have the three of swords, a lot of heartbreak and disappointment. So it's a lot of disappointment here. Somebody's disappointed in themselves, you guys, because it's delayed and it's delayed from moving forward, from coming through, from traveling towards you. Because they accepted a very fucked up situation because of core issues, codependency, and children. They know that. They know that they're causing their own pain here. And it's time to complete that and move forward to something that's more in alignment with their happiness. Let's get some emotions that's needed here. How does this person feel about my viewer? They feel a lot of grief, you guys. A lot of sorrow with the three of swords. A lot of heartache. This person could be full of resentment. Resenting themselves. But again, the bond is still deepening here. A lot of Egyptian connection here with pharaohs and unks. This person could have had a past life experience with you. This 
person is ready to love again. Keep an open mind. They're ready to love again. Maybe the person that they have children with or they were accepting in this difficult situation, this not so good situation. Maybe they thought that that was their soulmate. And now having this clarity with this king of swords energy, but still not speaking up. It's a lot of silence. Eh? It's like a lot of thinking about clear about the truth, but not speaking up. Just self-inflicted pain. Like I said, somebody could be deliberately hurting themselves. So they feel very peaceful with you. You bring this person a lot of peace, serenity. You center this person. Like I'm saying, they're in a messed up situation. But now that you have retreated or you guys uh, gave each other separation, things may have ended. They're now starting to see what was really giving them fulfillment, balance, love, and peace in their life. One more card about how do they feel about my viewer? So they feel ashamed. Okay, so they feel humiliated of the choices that they made. They feel bored without your presence. Like I said, they're spending a lot of time with this children or this family or this situation that they have accepted. And they're starting to see that how jaded and how interest, uninterested they are. And this is what led them to call their soulmate in. So even though they thought that they were with the one or one of their soulmate or they thought that this was the life for them, they were um, subconsciously calling in their soulmate and they called you in. So their base chakra, um, their, an their ancestors seat, that's what I'm saying. A lot of Egyptian and Egyptian ancestors or pharaohs connection is here. So it's almost like their base chakra, their ancestral seat heard this person crying out because of the pain that they were in in this situation fooling themselves that this is what was for them because of children involved so they were sacrificing a lot of their dreams their hopes and happiness because of the situation and now that they have called you in but had to retreat from you they're starting to realize how bored or boring this situation really was and they also feel very loving towards you. Again, with the Ten of Cups. Man, they miss you. With the Three of Swords. Yeah, they want reassurance from you. They want to be nurtured by you again. But they're stuck in this comfort zone because maybe it's convenient. Maybe they don't want to upset their children. They don't want to feel like they're abandoning, abandoned their um, family unit or commitments with their children. Child. Let's get some more confirmation, you guys. What does this person want to tell my viewer? This may be a future event for some of you. You might make this person further in 2020 or this is someone that you already dealt with and you guys are not speaking. This may be a secret because we have the high priestess. So they may not even be telling you all of this because, again, they feel unworthy. They feel humiliated of the choices that they made. This person, again, may have codependency because what happened to them as a child. So it's like they're re they are repeating a cycle what happened to them as a child in their adulthood with their own children. Somebody may, they may even feel very small in the situation that they're in. So they may be co-parenting or they're choosing to stay in a bad situation because the parent of their children is very aggressive and bullyish and demeanoring. This person emasculated them if they're a father. This person is hurting themselves from the inside. Very lonely, disappointed in how life turned out, how things turned out between the both of you. So they know they need to upgrade, and there's a lot of lust here. I felt it with the devil card, a lot of sexual energy, obsession. So they may have, uh, again, they may have co-created children with someone that was sexually charged about them it was a very lustful sex-based situation and they brought karmic seeds or karmic children out of it they were very out of control they may have had uh threesomes as well with this person and it was all great so we have i believe my own lies yeah they were in denial about this self-deception with the devil card and now that you guys retreated from each other or there was a break 
they're now seeing how boring their life really is. So they may have lost that sexual charge for this person and they may have had too many children with this person. And this is why they retreated. This is something that they're not telling you with the high priestess energy. It's a secret. But when it comes to you, it's like an upgrade. It's like you improve their life and you're very high standard. So you may know what you want. <laughs> so they may be a, a very faithful to you, very dedicated, or they may be very dedicated to the situation that they're in. We have show me your heart and I'll show you mine. Yeah, so they don't want to burden you with their tribulations, their obstacles, their challenges, the shit that they they accepting. So, you know, if you feel guided to reach out to this person, you could. Maybe some of you want the truth and you may need to take the first step with this person because they're not brave enough because, again, they feel very humiliated, this grace of their life. So they may not be the first to make the move. Hey, Some of you, you did show this person your heart and they retreated because they're, they're not able to give you they spend their whole life sacrificing their happiness. So they're not knowing how to even give themselves happiness with you. Tell me more. Last card to close this up. I feel like this person um, was led a very sheltered life with maybe a mother figure. That was always providing while the mass, the male, the father was never around or um, kind of look down on this child when they were small. So, you know, now that they're in adulthood, having their own children, their own family, they don't want to be what they hated as a child. So they're staying in a convenient, bad situation to prove that they're not like what they hated as a child. So we have Parmistry, Fortune and Tarot, Collective Destiny, the palm lines from birth tell your sacred palmistry. Listen to the notes of intuition. So, yeah, this person kind of messed up their destiny because they did not listen to their intuition. Some of them may have had guidance, um, very mystical guidance in the past, and they still didn't listen. So they could have went for tarot readings before all this happened. And they did not heed the information that came towards them. And they still went ahead and made these uh, decisions that are against their intuition. And this is where the embarrassment come from. This is where the self-sacrificing hangman and the self-infliction of the Prince of Sword come in. This person may be a ticking time bomb. So at any moment, they deflect their insecurities and their fears as well. This is why you may have retreated or they may have retreated because they're starting to see that they're causing hurt to those that they care about as well, including you. Again, this may be a future event. Some of you may meet your soulmate in 2020 and the, the retreating thing may happen, uh, may happen and it's due to all of this, what's going on, you guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, like, subscribe, and share. Comment, comment, comment. Let's get these free, amazing readings continually going on my Hourglass channel. Again, this is a general love reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. All right? So take the mes messages how it fit and leave what doesn't. All right? So see you guys in another video. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.